Hey there, my name is Drew Brashler, and in this video, I want to talk about the brand new auto mixer that's in version 3 firmware on your Yamaha DM3. Now, if you're brand new to my channel, I'm all about helping you feel more confident with your production gear, no matter where you're starting from. Also, if you are on a journey looking to learn more about audio engineering and want some more little tips and tricks in your tool belt, head over to audiotoolkit.co where I have a weekly newsletter where I email out some of my favorite tips and tricks with audio directly to your inbox for free. So head over there, check that out. But let's go ahead and dive in on the Yamaha DM3 and the brand new auto mixer that version three firmware included. So if you have the Yamaha DM3, head over to Yamaha's website, search up for the DM3. In the download section, you will find the brand new firmware. You will just need to go ahead and install that via your USB up in the top USB slot. Now, once you do that, you will get an auto mixer on your first eight channels. Now, an auto mixer is a device that is inside the console that will listen to the channels that are associated with it, which are the first eight channels, and you can turn them on and off by going to your channel, and up here, you can click into auto mixer and then turn them on or off. You can also designate a user-defined button for bypassing all of your auto mixer if you would like. And to do that, you can go into the settings, user defined keys, go here, auto mixer, bypass group A. Now, there's two groups to an auto mixer. There's group A and group B. So I'm going to explain the groups here in just a minute. But the auto mixer basically listens to the channels that are turned on and are associated to the auto mixer and will turn up the channel that's currently active and turn down the channels that are not active. And then when the next channel talks or interrupts, then it will automatically open up. So it's kind of like you having all of your fingers on all of your eight faders here and are able to anticipate when someone's talking and turn that up immediately when they start talking. Now this is slightly different than a gate because a gate is just going to be listening to a noise level associated to a threshold. Whereas the auto mixer is going to be constantly listening to all eight channels and actively changing which channel is raised up in volume in comparison to the others. So you can get a similar sound using a gate. However, the auto mixer is going to excel in a very noisy environment, maybe a large convention room, for instance, where we have a group of microphones that are out on stage and they are having a panel discussion. So in this case, I have some audio that I'm gonna pull up and I have these three microphones that are being used on the stage at the same time. Now I have these all associated with group A for my auto mixer. Now that's because I want all of these microphones associated with each other. Now if I had, say, two interviewers that were hosting this discussion and they were sitting right next to each other with the then three people that were also being interviewed, then I could set up those two host mics to be in group B. And then the auto mixer is going to just be associating the auto mix to just those two microphones of the hosts. And then in the other group, it's going to be listening to those as well. But the best results for me happen when you assign all of the mics that are out on stage into the same group. So that's the easiest way that we can set this up. So I have went ahead and I have my three channels here. So channel one, channel two, and channel three. And all of them are turned on with the auto mixer. Now I am first going to have the auto mixer turned off so we can listen to the sound of these microphones. Now these microphones are in a live room that has lots of AC and background noise and a lot of reverb. So we will go ahead and listen to that right now. Welcome everyone. Today we're talking about auto mixers and why they're a game changer for live sound and corporate events. Sarah, what's the biggest advantage? Auto mixers automatically adjust mic levels in real time, reducing background noise and feedback. In corporate settings where multiple panelists speak, it keeps everything clean and intelligible. Exactly. Instead of open mics picking up room noise, an auto mixer only brings up the mic of the person speaking. 
cutting out distractions and making speech clearer. That's huge. Without one, background noise builds up. So we can hear these microphones, and there is a lot of noise. Now, I have over-accentuated the amount of noise in this room for this purpose, but this gives you a good example of how much the auto mixer can actually do. Now, if I was wanting to first do a gate, let's try that and see how that sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and activate a gate on all of these channels. And let's go ahead and listen. Welcome, everyone. Today we're talking about auto mixers and why they're a game changer for live sound and corporate events. Sarah, what's the biggest advantage? Auto mixers automatically adjust mic levels Now, I am real doing time, a range of 30 dB. Noise and so feedback. when the are settings, not talking and that gate is speak, closing down, it it's reducing by 30 dB exactly. on the gate. Instead of open mics picking up Now, one thing that noise, I can do is go in and adjust this gate a little bit more speaking, to kind of get some of the Cutting out distractions and making speech out. clearer. But what you'll notice when using a gate is other microphones will start getting into that mic. And the problem with the gate in this instance is if we get that threshold too high, then we're going to start cutting off some of the words that the presenters are saying, which is not a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the gate from these, and let's go ahead and turn on the auto mixer. So I have all of these in the auto mixer, and I'm just going to turn the auto mixer back on with my user defined button. And let's click in the auto mixer and take a look. So here it is bypassed, and here it is on. Same audio. Welcome, everyone. Today we're talking about auto mixers and why they're a game changer for live sound and corporate events. Sarah, what's the biggest advantage? Auto mixers automatically adjust mic levels in real time, reducing background noise and feedback. In corporate settings where multiple panelists speak, it keeps everything clean and intelligible. Exactly. Instead of open mics picking up room noise, an auto mixer only brings up the mic of the person speaking, cutting out distractions and making speech clearer. That's huge. Without one, background noise builds up fast. But with an auto mix... Now, you'll also notice this auto mix gain here. This is the bar that's showing you what mics are turned up at what point in time. So the channel that's being used at that time and spoken into, we will see that the green bar is nice and high. Versus the channels that are not being used, we will notice that they are gray because they are being attenuated. Welcome, everyone. So if I go ahead and pull this back up, I'm just going to toggle between auto mixer being on and auto mixer being off. Sarah, what's the biggest advantage? Auto mixers automatically adjust mic levels in real time. Here it is time, off. Reducing background noise and feedback. Here it is In on. corporate settings where multiple panelists speak. It's a very large speak, difference between the it two. It keeps everything clean and intelligible. Exactly. Instead of open mics picking up room noise, an auto mixer only now we can also take this a step further and use the dynamics that are built into the channels and accentuate this even more. Welcome everyone. Today we're talking about auto mixers and why they're a game changer for live sound and corporate events. Sarah, what's the biggest advantage? Auto mixers automatically adjust mic levels in real time. Reducing background noise and feedback. So here is with the auto mixer bypass where with the gates turned speak, on. It keeps everything clean and intelligible. Exactly. Instead of open mics picking up room noise, an auto mixer only brings up the mic of the person speaking, cutting out distractions and making bypass. speech clearer. That's huge. Without one, background noise builds up fast. But with an auto mixer, it's like having an extra engineer managing levels constantly. And for live sound, it's a live... Now, the next thing that we see here is the weight. Now, the weight gives us an adjustment for giving a little bit more preference to one channel versus another. So if I was wanting to give more preference to channel two, what I can do is I can click in here and adjust this up to so say 3 dB. Now, we can go all the way up to 15 dB and all the way down to negative 100. So there is a lot of adjustability here that we have for weighting our channels. So for instance, if I was wanting to give less of a weight to my channel one, because there's a lot more noise on that channel, I could simply go to my channel here and I could give this a little bit less weight. Now this would take the channel two and channel three and give it a two dB above preference in comparison to my channel one. Now, one question that I bet some of you have is, would you use auto mixer for singing? And no, I would not use an auto mixer for mixing musical performances. 
And the reason being is because it's going to take the loudest channel and give it preference over the others. So if you had your multiple microphones and they were singing into them, then it's still going to be giving preference to the microphones that are being used and heard at that same time. But you would still need to mix. It's not just going to give you a perfect mix for all of your vocals. So if you are planning on using an auto mixer for vocals, I probably would not do that. But using an auto mixer for a panel interview or a bunch of people that are out on stage presenting at the same time is the perfect application for an auto mixer. Now again, this is included in the new firmware 3 of the Yamaha DM3 firmware. So if you have your DM3 and you don't see this auto mixer option, go ahead and update your firmware on a non-show day and then you will have your auto mixer built into your Yamaha DM3. Now, I hope this video was helpful for you today. If you do happen to have any questions or there's a video that you're hoping that I would make on the DM3 or really any of the production equipment that's out there, please post that in the comment section down below as I'm always reading through those comments to find videos that are going to be helpful for you. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my website at drewbrashler.com where I have a bunch of presets and articles and tips and tricks over there. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day.